What's up guys, I'm back with another video We're here to talk about the Power Rangers Disney era. Now a lot of fans think that the Disney era is the best and a lot of fans say the Disney era is their favorite. I disagree that it's the best. I would say personally the original Saban is the best. There have been some good and some bad moments from the Disney era. And I just want to do the good and the bad of the Disney era. So, five ups and five downs from Power Rangers Disney era as the video entitles. So, let's begin with five ups and five downs from Power Rangers Disney era. And we shall begin with the downs. And number five of the down, let's start with number five. Number five of the downs is not promoting RPM. Now, this was the final season of Power Rangers. Well, it was supposed to be, and it was the final season of the Disney era. And they did not, they did not promote this season at all. They just threw it on. ABC family without any promotion. Number four, Power Rangers Nick Force. Now this means that this whole season was based around Nick the Red Ranger. And that's mostly because the Sentai footage was Red Ranger based. So anytime they did an episode based on another Ranger, it was always about Nick. Number three, Operation Overdrive. Everything about this season was terrible. The unmoored fights, the villains, um, the the theme song. I mean, the only good thing that came out of this series, I would say, is probably the morph sequence and the suits. Everything else is pro is pretty much unbearable to watch. Number two, um, once a ranger. And, and well, and including Once a Ranger, number two, Once a Ranger. Now, I did not hate this team up as much as a lot of fans do. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than Class of the Red Rangers and the Legendary Battle. But this team up was lackluster. It could have been written better, especially with the Rangers just quitting. They could have found there were a lot of scenes that were cut out. That would have explained much better. But yeah they could have written it better. And number one of the downs. Cutting the episodes to 32. Now after SPD ended. Uh, they cut the episodes to 32. And a lot of fans were not happy with that. And after that it pretty much went downhill. We didn't get any more team ups or anything like that. So that was a bad decision on their part. Now the ups. Number five. The humor, the humor is a lot better than the Neil Saban humor. That's not even a question. Like Ninja Storm and Donald Thunder, they had hilarious characters like Capri and Marie, and Capri and Marie and Ninja Storm and and Donald Thunder, like a Balkan Skull duo of Cassidy and Devin. I mean, the humor in the in the Disney. Air Seasons minus Operation Overdrive was freaking just hysterical, including Ziggy and um, RPM. Number four, bringing back JDF. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, JDF's over right now. I hate JDF. I, oh, God. I'm so sick of seeing Tommy. Look, look, look. The ratings were down. They had to get someone from... And they had to get an old familiar face to bring up the ratings. So they brought back an old legendary ranger. And it worked. It brought back a lot of fans to the show. So I applaud them for doing this. Number three, original rangers. Now, they created A-Squad rangers for SPD. And the spirit rangers 
and the Spirit Rangers were originally supposed to be. It was originally supposed to be Casey's Battle of Armor, but they spit it on the original Rangers instead, which I applaud. We fans love seeing original Power Rangers in Power Rangers Gatuity, like the Titanium Ranger. Number two, the theme music. Now, the theme music has been really. The theme music in Power Rangers Disney Air is really uh, catchy. A lot of fans would say that SPD has the best one. Even Mystic Forces is okay. Uh, it's definitely better than Operation Overdrive. Operation Overdrive, like I said, I would stay far away from that theme song, far away from that season as possible. Everything else is fair game. And number one, going out with a bang. Now, this was supposed to be, RPM was supposed to be the last season. And they used all original footage. This was like um, Mad Max meets Power Rangers. And this was an amazing season. They freaking knocked it out of the park with this one. I mean, they almost went bankrupt just to distance themselves from... The Super Sentai to make this season so dark and gritty. And this season deserves an A+. So tell me what you guys think. Did you like the Disney era? Is it your favorite era? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.